We were hoping to get this off on the right foot, but that's the wrong foot. Get out of here because we need to swing into action Saturday. I never realized Charles Barkley had a twin brother. Or was that really Charles? I'm not sure, but I do know that here comes Akeem with the swat of the week on KJ. Meanwhile, the blonde bomber Dennis Rodman picks it up and puts it in. I think John Luca was happy, but it's hard to tell with John. He's so laid back. Sunday! We have all had those days when we were really stinking up the joint, then try to pass it off on the other guy. Take Patrick Ewing, who blows this jam. What he needed to do was study his notes and then take some tips from the master. That slam even impressed Chuck Daly. Watch this. Monday! David Robinson had 47 points, so Lucas told him to shoot the three and hit 50. He puts it up, not even close, but then he shoots again, and the Admiral's ship finally comes in. Robinson's three for 50. Tuesday in New York, Woody, Soon Yi, Diane Keaton, the only one missing is Mia. Meanwhile, John Starks is missing in action, and so are the rest of the Knicks. They shot just 29% in losing to Seattle, and you talk about a ticked off NBA coach, just listen to Pat Riley. Of all the games that I've coached in two and a half years here, I have never seen a team more flat, more unprepared to play a game. All right, Pat, then answer this. Why does that gum always seem to lose its flavor after you chew it? I don't have an explanation for it. I didn't think so. Wednesday, talk about high sticking. Is that a hockey game or are they trying to bust a pinata? Terrell Brandon of the University of Oregon ends up in the front row. Tough to see the game that way. Meanwhile, Rodman chases a loose ball and then does a little male bonding with the rep, Danny Crawford. Pat, how do you feel about that? It's probably one of the most embarrassing things that I've ever seen on this floor. Well, maybe this will cheer you up. In this Olympic moment, Harry the Hawk plays the hitman. Going after Nancy Kerrigan, Pat, you gotta love it. But that is inexcusable. I have nothing else to say about that.